Welcome to Cinerama TV. I'm Miss Kelly. Papa Tom is going to show you a very simple erupting volcano that's sure to get you a great grade. Some of the things that you'll need is our Cinerama plaster cloth, some masking tape, yesterday's newspapers, and some scissors, but be sure and ask mom or dad. Now let's go to Papa Tom and see his last minute erupting volcano. Okay, it's six o'clock in the evening. You've got your project due tomorrow on volcanoes. Where do you go from here? Let's get serious with it. And what can we make simply for you to have done in that time and be possibly even functional if you'd like? Basically, what you want to do is take your newspaper and just kind of roll it into each to itself like this, creating little pillows to start to form your hill. We'll start to tape these into position so that they won't move when you go to make your actual uh, mountain. You can keep adding pieces, building higher and higher. There are more than 500 active volcanoes around the world today. More than half of those are located along the Pacific Ocean, and that area is known as the Ring of Fire. Now see these sides holding the uh, newspaper in position. You're always also using the tape to kind of make a network frame around it. That way it starts to take on form so that when you put the plaster cloth on it, it holds it in position pretty well. And now what you're going to do is take the tube and insert it down through the center here. And that will be where your volcano is going to be erupting from or can erupt from later on when you're done. Use the plaster cloth much the way you would do if you were hanging, say, wallpaper. You want to cut it into manageable pieces. Make sure to get mom or dad's help before using anything sharp, such as scissors. What you want to do is just take it, run it through, shake off a little excess water, and start to layer it in. I mean, you can stop me if I did anything hard, but I think you'll agree that everything that we've done here so far has been really simple to do. And not really that much time consumption either. We'll give it a little while here to dry out and then we can come back and paint it. When painting it, color does a lot for what you're trying to show. Not just structurally, but using color effectively. You can bring out shadows, you can bring out what your mind will make your brain see as being rocks, dirt, etc. We're going to start with something fairly basic, just a water-based paint in the browns and paint it all over. And what we're going to do is give it a base coat of dirt. And don't be afraid to add a little bit of water from time to time because that will thin it out in areas. That way it will give you light and dark shadows as well. And it won't be so dramatically all one color type. Because if you look at a mountainside, you'll see many different colors in it as well. Okay, that's about enough of the brown. Let's get in some accent colors in now too. Maybe a little bit of the grays. One of the other techniques I found out that helps to make things look a little different is taking just a piece of sponge, your ordinary sponge you'd wash your car with, and using a lighter gray perhaps, dabbing it in there, maybe dabbing it off a little bit so that it's not really saturated in color. You can create the look of, of a mountainous area or a rocky area in some of those spots along the hillside. And of course up towards the top where you're going to have your eruption, that's where you're going to want a little bit more of the sooty look so you use the darker of the grays. Pyroclastic flows are often the most dangerous part of an erupting volcano. When the growing lava dome collapses, an avalanche of hot ash and rock flow down the mountain at speeds of 100 to 150 miles per hour and at temperatures of 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. Now as you can see it has dried, it's the next morning, you're ready for school and to take in your project. And what we're going to do, we have a base here that we have purchased and we can either display it just like this and put your little name tag down there approximately of everything that you've got here, you know, who's by, etc. Um, or we can take and turn it over when you go to show how to make it erupt, it'll at least keep everything contained for you. 
Now as far as making it erupt, we're given a simple formula for that and it takes a drop of dishwashing soap, an ounce of vinegar, and then six drops of some red food dye and six of yellow. This will create the kind of a hot reddish orange color that you want for the lava. And you want one teaspoon of baking soda to put down inside of it. And now we're ready to make it erupt. So let's just pour in a half at a time Throughout the world, there are almost 10 volcanic eruptions a day. Sometimes it's just fun to be a kid again. <laughs> <laughs>